Right, I'm gonna try to keep this short. I'm just uh, going to show you guys how to change the, change some of the icons, or if any, any of your icons aren't working, and uh, just troubleshoot this theme. So, first thing first things first, have to apply this theme. You're going to want to set Nova Launcher as your default home screen. So you can do that. So first, you're gonna have to download Nova. The free version is enough. Download KLWP. It's the uh, light wallpaper version. I have the in-app purchase of the Pro. You got you gotta need Pro to apply the theme. And that's you're gonna need the actual theme. The right here. So uh, once you have that all set, just set a uh, Nova Launcher as your default home screen. Remove anything from the screens. You can long press and uh, click settings to open up Nova setting. You're going to want to make sure the dock's disabled. Uh, make sure you make sure you have your uh, wallpaper scrolling enabled. So set to on. You do not need a page indicator unless you really want one. So you I usually have that disabled. You probably want the search bar disabled too, because it'll, it'll just block part of the theme. Um, there's nothing else you really need to set up here. Then uh, make sure you ensure you only have three screens. So long press, and you can remove any extra screens or add more screens. You can technically have any odd number of screens as long as it's greater than three, but then that'll just give you extra scrolling to do just to get to the next page and just not very useful. So you're going to want to open up custom after you've installed everything. Click this, click load preset, and then just select the theme, then click save. The theme will be applied. If the themes are, if you haven't had, don't have the wallpaper set, it'll ask you to set the wallpaper. So in order to change these icons or if any of these icons aren't working, which will likely, likely be the case since people tend to use different apps for different things. So like let's say the email app, you might be using Gmail, but I have it set to open up inbox. So to change the uh, email app, you're going to want to go to, so this is the center screen, the three screens. I've named everything after like where they are. So we're on the center screen. So we're going to go to app wheel center. This is app wheel center, app wheel last. And this is just the music controls. I have first, center, last, showing each of them. You're going to just scroll down a bit to find them. Do not move these around. You can uh, reorder them over here, but if you reorder them, it'll change the la uh, Some items might overlap, uh, overlap where they already are, and it, it just might confuse you. So uh, open up App Wheel Center. And you'll see like it'll give you a red outline showing you that you've opened this object. You can zoom in by clicking this button. And uh, you also want to ensure you have three screens set over here. So, as you can see, everything here is already named. So, email, right over here, you just click this. Go to the touch tab, click launch app. And you just change the app to whatever email app you have. So, I'm not sure if I have Gmail installed, but I can select email. Uh, yeah, once you select something else, I'm just going to. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So you can you can do that for any of the apps here. And if you say, let's go over here. Say uh, so I have Telegram, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. Let's say you want like Snapchat over here, and you don't you don't really use. Let's say you don't use WhatsApp. You can uh just go to App Wheel last. Go to the WhatsApp one, and if you're gonna change it to something else, you can just tap the check mark next to it, click edit, and you can change the name. But that will just change the name, it won't change what it actually is, so you can open this up. You can change the touch to the app you want, just like last time. And then to change the icon, you can go over here, and I'm using custom comes with four, uh, well I guess five now. Um, well it comes with these four, I don't know, I don't know what this is. Uh, and uh, this one over here I'm using has a lot of uh, extra icons available, 
So pretty, the vast majority of the icons I have come from this pack over here. You can check them each out though. So we'll just select this, this pack, then select the icon. There, as far as I know, there is no search function. So you're going to have to scroll down and look for the app icon you want. So I'm, I don't really want to look for I'm not, I don't, I'm not even sure that they probably probably have Snapchat, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to just put GitHub. And um, this is already centered, but uh, you might want to zoom in. Why is it? Well, this should make it zoom in. I'm not sure. OK, I had you want to make sure that's unlocked. Um, so if this doesn't look centered to you, you can change the centering by uh, messing around with the variables here. Just click the plus icons and you'll see like it's moving as I tap everything. So yeah, once you got everything set up the way you want it to, so I changed that to, uh, I don't want to change the touch, uh, touch that. So you can actually set a touch act action for this entire wheel, but you don't really want to do that because you already have a touch action for each individual thing in here. So let me go back to my WhatsApp. Change the touch to for cub. There. All right. So you're going to probably want to change the name. So just to make it easier for you to go back and set it. So after you've done all your changes you want to do to the app, click save, and you should be good to go. Just click home. Oh, very quickly, I forgot to mention how to change, how to apply your own icon pack that you have installed to these, not just the um, other icons when I made the other video. So as you can see here, I have an icon for my loan for Snapchat. So I'm just going to quickly show how to do that. Open up custom, scroll down. To, so let's say we want to replace, we want to replace the gallery app with a with some other app. We're just going to go to App Wheel Center, go to the gallery, which I have is set to Quick Pick. Well, we don't need we don't need it. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to delete it. So we'll click the checkbox here, click Delete, click the plus, add an image, and uh, the image is in the center, but you can't see it because the center dot over here is uh, overlapping it. So I'm going to set the position to bottom left because that's closest to where we want to put it. So if we're going to change the like, email, we're going to set it to bottom. We're going to change this to top left. And uh, we're going to reposition it later. So let's click here to pick image. Scroll down to your icon pack. If you're, if for whatever reason, you choose an icon pack and it doesn't like apply to custom, there's an app you can download that will. Uh, make the uh, icons for you in custom. I'll send a link for that in the description. Um, but for the most part, most apps will work. So hmm, what app? Something that starts with A. Or let's just do Reddit. So I we'll have Reddit sync over here. Um, so let's just change the size a little bit to well, actually, I think that's the perfect size for that. So you can mess with the size over here in the width. You just click plus or minus or these arrows to change like 15 at a time. Then you just want to reposition it. So we're down here, so we're going to pad it on the left a bit. And then pad it at the bottom, so we move it up. Again, I'm trying to keep these the same so they stay centered. So you can see like this is slightly too close. You can click this over here to zoom in. It's slightly close to the Pokeball, so we can just click the minus sign a few times. And if you think this is too big, you can rescale it, but then you're going to have to reposition it again too. So then you just click Save, click Home, and you change the implied, and you want to make sure you uh, set a touch action for it. So just when you're in touch, click Plus, uh, single launch app, and then select the app you want to launch from when you touch it, Save, and you're good to go and your changes should be saved. Boom. Open up Fork Hub. So,
I guess. Well, I guess the music's pretty important. So, I've, everybody probably uses their own music apps and stuff. I've already I've included Spotify, and uh, this is just a generic music icon, but it opens up Play Music. So, the same method for changing these. I have a shortcut over here to open up Custom. Uh, except they're not inside a folder. You have to uh, just scroll down and find them. So, uh, if you want to be able to see them, just go to the Globals, enable this. Uh, a global just lets you set an action that you can apply to something, and they will pick that global. Each time that global is enabled, everything with that global applied to them will activate. So once if you turn this on, it'll turn on the uh, fab bar because everything in the fab reacts to this global. Um, so let's go to the music screen, and. Uh, So we got the Spotify here and Play Music. So let's say we want to change Play Music to a uh, black player. Let's it's the same method. Just go and change it to black player. Oh, oops. Well, there you go. It's set to black player. And uh, another thing about the music app, at least in my experience. Uh, Sometimes, like even when you click the music, it's not going to start. Typically, it doesn't really work unless you already have. Oh. Well, um, if it's not starting when you're clicking it, you probably have to uh, open up the app manually, and then start playing a song for like one second. Then this should work fine. Everything you should work with any music app. I there there is an issue with Spotify. I've noticed where these these buttons work, but this won't change, and stuff up here won't change. Most of the time they work, but every now and then they don't. It's only happened to me with Spotify. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal as long as the buttons work, I guess. Um, yeah, so the clock also has a touch action to open up the clock. I'm just going to go through everything since I'm already making this video. Same thing with changing the clock. The clock is located. And uh, so everything that's in the screens have screen at the end of their name. So music screen, the music screen over here. Uh, time and full screen is everything over here, and etc. And full screen is just this map. Do not mess with this map because uh, it took me a while to get it to fit in here. But I mean, I guess you could delete it and add your own thing to the etc. And full screen if you wanted to. So, time and full screen. So, over here is the time, as you can see. And I have a touch action at the time. So let's say you want to make tapping the weather icon will open an app, or you wanted to just refresh the weather. Just add, a, add, a, click the plus to add a touch action. Click that, and um, most custom action, and let's force weather update. Save. And then we just go back home, and then tap. It'll just refresh the weather, but the weather's not. Well, it just changed. Uh, and if you want to save the preset, so you don't have to like change it each time you apply a new theme, just click export preset, and you can just apply all this shit. Oh, I didn't. Well, that has been applied. All right. So that's the basics of how to change this theme, and probably everything else with custom.